<laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers. It's Dear Natural 62. I'm back to do another water marble tutorial, but even better, I'm going to do five different looks for you. So five great looks, and I hope you enjoy. So I'm gonna preface by saying I started with my Sally Henson, my Sally Henson double duty, and then I used my Eva White on all my nails. I just did one coat. I didn't think it. Was, I didn't need two coats. Just one coat is fine, especially since the water marble is gonna go over it. And last time I showed you how to do it on an artificial nail. So this time I'm gonna show you how I actually do it on my nail and what I use, the technique I use to do the whole process. So let's start. To wrap my nails, I use masking tape. Plain old masking tape. I just need two little strips and I'm gonna show you how I do that. I take one strip and I put it as close to the front of the bed of my nail and I wrap it around so it looks like that. Then I take another piece and I start on the edge of my nail and I'm going to hold that down and I'm going to wrap that around so that I cover the majority of my nail so that the cleanup process will not be huge at all. And then the excess in the back, I just wrap around. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And it's gonna be easy to wrap off. So I basically make like a little cocoon for my nail. So the cleanup process will be very simple. Let's get started. I'm gonna do a purple look with LA Colors. And this is like a dark purple. And then I'm gonna add Sally Henson's Extreme Nail with the Lilac. And then I'm gonna use my Eva White. So let's start with Eva White. We're gonna start making our circles. Like spread it out a little bit. Shaking the water sometimes helps spread out the nail polish. And then as you remember, we're just going dot for dot for dot. Okay, and then we're gonna put the darker color in. And then we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna show you that um, you don't have to have like 10, 15 dots of color sometimes. Sometimes you can do it with less than that. And you'll get the same effect, ladies, the same effect. Don't be worried. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do one last white so it ends in white. And then I'm just going to take my toothpick, and I'm going to make a quick design by bringing them all in. And I'm starting from the color right before the first white. Then I'm going to bring in my flower, bring in my flower. And I'm gonna capture that one. I think it's cool. It's cute. I'll get the purple look. So you dip, you wait a little bit, you blow on the water, this. You see, I just capture all of that. And then it's very easy. So when my nail comes up from the water, it won't have any excess on it. I don't even need the scissor. I'm just going to start unraveling and it comes off very easily. So you see now, all I literally, literally have to do is just clean this little bit of excess. That's it. There's no polish on the whole rest of my nail. My design looks cute. I'm just going to wait for that to dry. And then I'm just going to actually put a top coat on that. We're going to do a pretty, this is from Sinful. It's called Mint Apple. How pretty! Cologne colors. And this is just a dark brown. So we're going to start with the dark we'll start with the dark brown first let's put that in there and then we'll add our sinful 
mint apple. And we're just working with two colors. That's it. Two colors. But I just thought this would be very pretty. A chocolate and a mint green. It's like mint chocolate chip. That's what I'm thinking. Mmm, yummy. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> but it's so cute. Do you see how the colors, the two colors go together so well? I absolutely love it. So we'll end there. Then we'll take our toothpick and we will make some designs. Now, don't forget what I said. There is no wrong way to do this. So you can create anything you want, anything your heart wants to. And if it looks cute to you, that's all that matters. I think that looks pretty. So let's capture that on the nail. Let's dip down so I get a little bit of everything. Let's clean up. Do you see how simple this is? Quick and easy. Look how cute that is. Take off the tape. Just be careful when you're taking off the tape so you don't mess up your design. And take a look. Literally seconds, a design in seconds. And here's the cleanup process. I'm just going around and that's it. Another finger done. Stay tuned, we're doing more. <laughs> we're gonna start with, um, this is just a regular green from Eva. I'm feeling a little Jamaican flair. So we're gonna do green. We're gonna do a little mellow yellow from Sally Henson's Extreme Nails. And then we're gonna do a Ebony Hates Chris Black <laughs> from Wet n Wild. That's literally the name. I didn't make that up. <laughs> So we're going to do our green, yellow, and black. Green, yellow, and black. Give it a little shake. And I think the, this color combo is going to look cute. Green, yellow, and black. I've actually seen this color in t-shirts, earrings, necklaces. I've seen this color, this color pattern a lot, so... I just thought it'd be very cute on my nails. And I'd love, after I do all the nails, I'd love for you to tell me which one is your favorite design and your color pattern. Like I said, it's all beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Whatever design you come up with, that's all that matters, and I'm ready to dip. Look how gorgeous this looks. I'm just like, oh, uh, that is hot. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I'm really, really feeling that. I'm feeling a little patriotic, so we're gonna go with a little red, white, and blue with Sally Henson's Cherry Red. Let's get that in there. Back to my Eva Whites. And then we're gonna do Save by the Bell Blue from Wet n Wild. Yeah, I'm feeling a little patriotic here. So we're gonna do a little flag color. I think this is cool. Especially this is a great idea for 4th of July. And don't forget, you can add a little sparkle to these nails. You can add glitter. You can add whatever you like once you're done. And actually, you know what? I'm going to stop at the white. Yes. This is a perfect circle. <laughs> okay. Let's do something different. Let's 
see. Isn't that gorgeous? And let's dip the nail. And then I'm just gonna pull out. Oh my god. It has like a Wonder Woman flair to it to me. That looks hot. <laughs> if I don't say so myself. You know what? I may even keep all five of these on and see how I feel the next day <laughs> to make a decision. So one more to go. We're back with the last look. I'm going to do my Eva White. You know, you can never have too much white nail polish because you use, a, you use it a lot. Then I'm going to do my Teal No Teal from Wet n Wild. And all my Wet n Wilds that I use tonight are the ones that I got from the deal that I said about at Walgreens. It's two polishes of Wet n Wild for $1.99. You better run out and get some polishes before it's too late. But I absolutely love this. I'm going to see how this color is going to come out because it's coming out kind of clear like, but with like a blue tint. So we're going to see what that looks like on the nail because I've never used this color before. And like I said, a lot of this sometimes is trial and error and seeing what you like. So we're going to do one more white, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do another blue to make this blue maybe a little bit darker in the center. So I'm going to dip that three times. And then I'll take my toothpick. We're going to see what we get. I may need another white to actually give me a design. I don't know. We're going to see. Let's see what we get. I don't know. This isn't looking so great. But like I said, it's trial and error. So let's see what this blue does. I'm a little afraid. Let's see. Oh, I take it back. It's not bad. It's like a baby blue. It turned into like a baby blue. Okay, we're back. And everything is completely dried. And then I applied my top coat. It didn't take that long to dry. Because a lot of these are express um, nail dry. So the polishes dry very quickly. Um, so I'm leaving it up to you to tell me which one you absolutely love. Which color combo you love. So, and that'll help me make my decision on which finger I'll keep. Because I kind of like them all for different reasons, but I want to know what you think. So, thanks again for watching my nail tutorial. It's Dear Natural 62. Take care. Bye-bye.